Well, the plan was to go to Animal Kingdom after work today. Not only did both of us work today, which is the day after the 4th of July, most people I know took the day off for vacation or the company's closed. Not us. But I could have left early, and yet, because the weather is so horrible, I decided to put in a full day. For there's no expedition Everest in this weather. So as we're driving this wonderful weather, you should realize the Bush Race, or I guess maybe it's the Nextel series or whatever it's called these days, is supposed to be going off at Daytona. Now we're not going to the summer races this year at Daytona because we have other plans for tomorrow that are awesome. But when everybody asks about those races, this happens every year. So you should know that is illegal in Florida. So we're at Academy Sports, Lake Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary just asked, why are we coming to Academy Sports? I bought something online yesterday. They're doing the beta thing now. Where you can buy it online and pick it up in the store. They'll just pull it for you. Mm -hmm. I, I almost no like see the look of dread on her face. Like what could possibly be happening? I have no idea. So, um, I bought another cooler. I was tripping over the cooler in the roof in the kitchen for like ages. <laughs> I wish I could um, give the backstory before I said that. But we have we have more coolers than anyone could ever ever want. If we lose power and we have a resource for ice, then we're we're set. <laughs> we're set for weeks. We did buy a cooler last year, like a knockoff Yeti, at the end of the season. Um, when, um, or actually, I guess it was like mid season. So, no, I think, yeah, because well, yeah, we it, took it to Oz in September because uh, it was in the back of the car. That was June. No, we took it to Georgia, I think. But anyway, we, yeah. we bought a knockoff Yeti because I wouldn't spend 400 bucks on a Yeti from Walmart for um, very cheap last year but the problem is it has no wheels it's very heavy, heavy. so if you ever got to carry that thing like we pretty much can put it on a longboard <laughs> and just wheel it in yeah but there was a cooler that i fell in love with at the end of last year that i've been waiting to see like if it goes on sale and it was basic it was it's an igloo cooler but it's 70 quarts and it has these giant wheels on it so like where people get infatuated and you guys watch theme park videos to see like I gotta see every last theme park type of take on things. I get stuck sometimes going down a rabbit hole of watching like cooler Coolers. comparison videos. But this thing is he perfect because it has a handle <laughs> with these giant wheels that we can take to the beach or to the park and can you can just wheel it along with 70 quarts worth of beer and soda and water, and Gatorade, fruit salad. We need another potato house. salad. We need another house <laughs> to put all our coolers into. <laughs> we just have a garage full of coolers. <laughs> and I almost walked away without saying the most important thing. I got a sponsored ad from Igloo yesterday that they had this ridiculous sale going on. And in the comments, somebody said, you know what? It's cheaper at Academy today. Um, plus, they have already knocked off a percentage off the price but there was a coupon code and I am the king of coupon codes. <laughs> uh, anything that I buy, anything camera related or anything, if I can find yep. a coupon online, I will search just like blah, blah, blah store coupon and see if there's like stuff that pops up for like 15, 25 or whatever off. Yep. And this was another like 25% off on top of the sale price. So it's basically half price of what we're getting this for. This is it. It's huge. 70 quart. Pull this handle out. Got a handle. This thing opens up so that you can store dry stuff in there like a phone. You got a thing here where you can put your sunblock and things like that. You open this up, this has this tray. You can put the tray over here. Use it as a cutting board or a place to put your beverages. And then, these two guys can go right here in the back. Hold your fishing pole or your shade. Wow. I like it. I like Look at those wheels. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Mary's pointing out the important stuff. <laughs> the bottle openers are on both sides. And also, you have these lips here so that you can get some bungee tie downs and put your chairs for the beach on top or the park. Just bungee over it and you just carry this one thing with the handle. And you're good to go. Much better than trying to lug 
that fake Yeti around. With no wheels. <laughs> yep. Now we're going to go back in Academy and look around a little bit. Maybe actually pick up some bungees. And maybe a couple more folding chairs. This is one of our favorite stores. I love this place. Titanium USB cables. Or solar waterproof speakers. All sandals and water shoes, 25% off already. It's already the end of summer in Florida. Get some sneakers with Velcro. I feel like I'm in grade school. This is the smallest skillet in the world. It's for Barbie dolls. <laughs> and now chairs, chairs, chairs. And chairs. And umbrellas, but mostly chairs. Big versions of games. I always love hook and ring. I bet. Summer house growing up. Big buckets. Cornhole. After the hot dog eating contest the other day, we saw that they had a competition on ESPN for cornhole. For cornhole. I feel like this would make a really good video. <laughs> a Sasquatch multi-tool. He's real. So much for your prime deliveries today. And now off to one of my least favorite stores in the world. <laughs> I'd much rather buy stuff on Amazon. But as you can tell with that truck, no, I'm just kidding about the truck. They just didn't have same day delivery today, so I need an adapter for my tripod. We'll see if they have it. Cool Polaroid cameras, 100 bucks. Are you kidding me? These things used to be like 30 bucks. Unbelievably, they had what I needed. Also, giant cooler in the back. We made our way over to Sanford, Florida, heading to Throwbacks, our favorite little joy. We've gone from eating German food all the time at Hollowbacks. Let's come here for some pizza. Throwbacks pizza. Oh my God. We are back home and we've got to get ready for an early morning tomorrow at the Orange County Convention Center. We're going over there for Halo Outpost, which is basically like a Halo con. We've been spending some time trying to rearrange or clean up some stuff in the den here. We still got a bit of a mess behind me. Did rearrange some of our Star Wars stuff, by the way, in case you were interested. We've got the Star Wars retro figures here from Target. These guys make some noise, but I think if I push the button, they'll knock over the figures. A couple of things moved around. We got the big biker scout and Luke and his X-34 land speeder. And again, in pop figure form. And Han and his Tauntaun. That'll freeze before it gets to the first marker. Ray and Kylo with little Luke looking on. This uh, Luke Skywalker document holder was something I won at Celebration a couple years ago. It was a prototype signed by the person that designed it. And I got some of the six inch figures, although we have a bunch more to put up there. This is my very dusty all in Hoth area here with old different Hoth related things. I still need to find a place to hang this up. I got a little Adam Driver autograph here from Topps Authentics. And then we've got a potpourri of other items just sitting around cluttering up stuff that we need to find space for. But on that note, we are going to say goodnight for now. Not the most exciting of videos, but tomorrow should make up for this, hopefully in like tenfold. On that note, thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.